Welcome to the world of colors. I'm Colors. Today we're going to be making the Hive family. We're going to be making Buzz, Honey Bee, Busy, the little baby bee, and Zing, the little boy bee. They're a family of bees and we'll be making them all today and arranging them like this. This is what they look like in the in the back and all the way around and I'll be getting my materials together here and I'll be right back to tell you what they are. Today we're going to be using some black and yellow pipe cleaners. Um, we're going to be using some miscellaneous little flowers just a few little flowers that Buzz the Bee will be holding. So it's just a few flowers. I'm gonna be doing this video in three parts all together in one video. I'll be resetting this table three times. So the first time will be to make Buzz and Honey Bee, the adult bees. We're gonna make those on this first table setting. And then after we finish that, we're gonna go and make Busy the Baby Bee and zing the boy bee on the second table setting. And then on the third table setting, we'll be doing the base and the flowers and putting them all together. So we'll be doing that today in one video. So this will be the first table setting right now. And it's what we're gonna be using is the pipe cleaners, the yellow and black pipe cleaners, the flowers, the beard, and the beard is four by five, yellow fur and the ponytails for her are two two inch by five inch ponytails they're two two inch by five inch pieces of yellow fur and then the striped socks i got on amazon they come like this five pairs in a package zykara zykara uh, is the name of them you get those on Amazon. And then for our felt, uh, we'll be using four seven by eight inch pieces of the black felt for the hats. And then two seven by seven inch pieces of the yellow felt for the noses. And then for the trim on the hat, we'll be using two one half inch by seven inch pieces of the black felt. We'll be using some polyester fiber fill, some letters. Got these from Michaels. Um, they're, I have green letters on them right now and I'm, I'm waiting for more green letters to come from Amazon. And today we're gonna be using these, these multicolor letters for the one we're making today. And then the pom-poms, you'll be using, we'll be using one really large black one a yellow one, this is about a two inch one and a one inch one, and then uh, some little small black ones, some yellow, four yellow, small yellow ones, and then a couple, I've got these, I think I got these at Easter time, these glittery looking ones, but I'm using these for the stingers on them, so. So we've got four black and four yellow, one big black and one medium sized yellow. When I get these, I won't be saying where I got them from because when I get my pom poms, I get them out of a great big container like this that I've collected. So I just pull out what I need out of that. And so that's where those came from. And then, what, then I have this little red piece of satin that I got from somewhere and then you can use whatever you want to use, but I'm using this red piece of satin for around the ponytails today. And we're gonna be using flat marbles and we'll be using rubber bands. This is how the little name tags are gonna be made up for them with the letters today with orange felt. So if you wanna make those ahead of time, you could just make the little name tags that go on them. They're about one inch by two inches, little name tags. Buzzes is a little smaller. 
that's how we're going to do that we're going to be using some yellow tool throughout the video making the bees we'll be using this I got this from Amazon but I know you can get it a lot of places and that's all we're gonna need today for this part of the video and I'll be right back and we'll get started so to make buzz you want to get out your first sock this is a, a men's sock from Amazon and you want to get out your first sock and we're gonna make use one sock for each bee that we make today we're going to take and we're going to cut for buzz we're going to cut right down the heel like this and then is what we're going to do is put our marbles in the bottom with the polyester fiber fill. These socks are pretty stretchy. They're pretty good quality, I like them. There's a seam running across the back of all the socks or, or on the socks and I'm putting, lining it up in the back, the seam. We'll be doing that seam on the, the top and the bottom. you don't have the seam on the front. So you want to fill it up like that. And then tie that off of, with a rubber band. that's going to measure this. I'm going to measure from the rubber band to the bottom and I'm getting just about seven inches, almost seven inches for the bottom. And we're going to cut this off so that we can glue the top piece on. That's going to be pretty short. And then the top piece, we want to take and cut that off straight. We'll cut about that much off. And then we want to turn it inside out. And gather it together like that. Just take a rubber band and tie that together. And turn it right side out. And then we'll fill that with the polyester fiber fill.
and then you just want to tie that off. that and then you want to line up the back seam we find it on here right here and we're gonna we're gonna glue them together like that and make a B shape so what I want to do is take my glue And put it around just follow along the ring of color that you're on a pretty good amount of glue on there and just line up the seam there and hold that down like that and let that set up for a few minutes and I'll be right back. With now you. I've got this first body made. I let that glue set up and this is what, about what it looks like. Um, then is what you want to do is go ahead and make the second body for honeybee, doing the same thing. I stuff it just a little bit less so she's a little bit smaller, but basically she's the same same uh, idea as the first one. So I'm gonna do that and I'll be right back with you. So I've got the bodies made up and it's what I'm gonna do next is make their noses. So it's what we wanna do is take out our, our two seven by seven inch pieces of yellow felt And then we want to take some polyester fiber fill about the size that we want the nose to be. And just put it right in the middle of the felt. Push it up with your thumb. And then just wrap the base with a rubber band. Like that. And just cut the bottom off. Then what you want to do is go ahead and make it just a little shorter. Glue this on. Put the glue on the bottom like that. And we'll just glue that right on, making sure that we have the seam right in the back and the center in the back. And then the nose goes in the front like that. And I'm going to let that set up and then I'm going to make the nose for the second body and glue that on and then I'll be right back I've with I've got you. the noses glued on now and I want to go ahead and get the beard and the ponytails glued on next. So you want to take your 4 by 5 inch yellow fur for the beard. And just fold that right in half the long way down. And just take a couple of, about an inch slit in it like that. And then you want to, we're going to glue the corners. I want my slit to be a little bit longer than that. So we're going to glue the corners to make it round off the beard a little bit here. So 
going to fold that up. And we'll do the other side. And just fold it up. Just round it off a little bit. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and glue it on to him. Put it up, the slit up on the nose like that. And then we're just going to glue it to the little stub that comes up. And we're going to remember when we're gluing it that this all has to be hidden underneath the hat when we put the hat on. So that's why you want to kind of tuck it into the stub as we're gluing. Just kind of tuck it over like that. I'm just working a shaping mustache in here. You want to spray that a little bit of hairspray to hold the shape in there for you. So that's his hair, and then we're going to do hers. Now I did the first ponytail, it's going to look like this. I got the first one done, and so what we're going to do is the second one now. You just want to take your 2 by 5 inch piece of yellow fur, on the back side of it and we'll put around a piece of glue all the way down here and then just fold it up towards the middle and then we'll run another Heat of glue about we're working about a quarter of an inch in right there and then just fold that up on top combing the fur down so it's a little neater and then take a smaller rubber band kind of a medium sized rubber band and go from the top down we're gonna go up to there maybe three inches down Rubber band in like that. And then you just want to wrap it with your piece of ribbon.
wrap that around like that. Straighten that back up a little bit. And then is what we want to do is glue them onto the sides and just kind of glue them in like that on both sides, if you can see that. It's kind of hard to get the glue on the fur. There we go. Glue it in like that. I'm going to let that set up and I'm going to glue the other side in and I'll be right back with okay, you. So I've got the ponytails glued on. I also tacked underneath where the little satin is on both ponytails. It's tacked so they don't fling out. Just tack them down right there. Now the next thing I want to do is to put the wings on. I'm going to start with the um, honey bee and we're going to go ahead and I, I made the first bottom set of wings for her. They're going to look like this. They're about five inches across but you don't have to get that technical with, with it really. Just kind of eyeball and then we're going to glue that on the bottom here and make a set a little bit larger for the top. So how I'm making the wings, so I'm just taking the tool it's pretty simple and just get it straightened out here and just get about how wide you want the wings to be. About like that. About six inches. And I'm doing, gonna do five layers. Like that. And then just bunch it together in the middle. And then I'll just cut this off. Set that aside. And then you just want to take your black pipe cleaner and wrap it around the middle. And then I just take, and instead of going through and cutting each one on the ends, I just take and go right along the edge with the scissors and cut that so they're all open like that. And then do the other one. Just cut the edge. So then we have a top and a bottom, like that. And this is about five inches. This one might I might trim this one a little bit more. Let me measure what that is. Yeah, we'll trim that up. It's a little bit big. Easy enough to just trim a little bit more off. Get it the size you want it. So that is what we want to do is go ahead and glue them on the back right on that seam. We'll go ahead and glue the top one on. I'm just going about three stripes down and I'm going to glue that on there. I'm going to 
let that set up and then I'm going to glue the smaller one on the second part of the body about three stripes down just go ahead and glue the smaller one and they'll be like that and as soon as they'll set up I'll be right back with so you. We've got the wings all on got them on both of the bodies the wings are attached and just what we need to do now is make the hats and I did make up a hat already looks like this and we're gonna make up that's for him for Buzz and we're gonna make up Honey's hat now and you want to use your seven inch by eight inch pieces of black felt now if you fold it right in half like that you can find your middle and mark it with a white chalk paint right there at the, in the middle so you know where you're going here and then you want, what you want to do is you, we're just going to cut it out like a Christmas tree, starting at the bottom corners. We're going to make a tall Christmas tree. So just start cutting towards that mark. And then do the other side. Now on Buzz's hat, we started with the same felt and I glued it in a quarter of an inch on the seams, but she's a little bit smaller, so I'm gonna take it in about three quarters of an inch, or I'm sorry, a half an inch. Take it in about half an inch the seam on this hat. And we want it to be a little bit smaller. My glue gun is gluing up on me. And we'll just do this other side half an inch in, and then I'm gonna let it set up, and I'll be right back with you. All set up now, and it's ready. I'm ready to turn it the right side out. I'm not gonna turn it all the way up to this top point here. I'm gonna turn it till about, well, I'll show you. I want it to be straight across, so I'm just gonna let it go to about there it's gonna i'm not even gonna cut it off or anything i'm just gonna leave it right like that get my i want it to be straight across this is her hat honey's hat and i'll take and cut off these parts that stick out down here round that back off And that's what her hat looks like. And we'll put some polyester fiber fill in it. Like that and then what I'm going to do is go ahead and attach his hat see hers came out quite a bit smaller when I uh, adjusted that how much I glued in the seam made it come out smaller which will fit her size body a lot better 
So we'll do this. And it's what we want to do is take the seams to the side on it. And then glue it right at the top of the nose. I'm going to let that set up. Then I'm going to glue it right, right here on both sides. Not right in the middle of the back, but right on the, the uh, sides where my fingers are right there. And then we're going to glue the arms in at the top of the, right in here, the our arms. So we're going to let that nose set up a little bit. And I'm going to do the two back sides and I'll be right back with so you. I've got the hats glued on. And the next thing I want to do is to show you how I did the antennas. I just took the pipe cleaner and wrapped it around about like that. And then trim that off and do another one. The same. And then I put, on buzzes, I put them right on both sides of the nose. So you just want to put a little glue on there like that and put it on the side of the nose. That'll set up. We'll do the other side. Right on the other side of the nose. And then you want to put the yellow pom-poms on the ends. You just put some glue right in the end there. And then hold your pom-pom on there for a few seconds. And then I took the trim piece, I had the two trim pieces here, the one half inch by seven inch trim piece of black. And you just wanna glue that down on the bottoms of the antenna so you, so you don't see the glue and everything there. So we'll glue that on. Let's trim that right at the seam.
And then we can go ahead and put the name tag on while we're working on the hat. This is a different color. I just took the letters and glued them on a piece of orange felt. We're gonna put it right in between the antennas. It's a different color than what the original one was. Maybe you can leave it in the comments which uh, color you liked, the green or the multicolor letters. Put that on like that. And then he's got uh, the big pom-pom on his hat. So we'll put some glue on there. Now that's what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let that set up a few more seconds and then I'm gonna do Honey's hat just like this with the antennas and the name tag and everything and I'll be right back. So I've got their hats put on, their antennas and their name tags all put on. The next thing I wanna do is put on their arms. So you just wanna take your black pipe cleaners and fold them in half. We'll do Honey's arms, get her all set up. So we want to, what we want to do is take them and fold them in half like that. Take your scissors and cut them in half. And it's what you want to do is glue this up underneath the hat. Just tuck it up underneath there with some glue on it. I glue it all the way around and just tuck it underneath the hat there. Just let that set up and we'll do the other side. that in there and we'll let those set up and I'm about the same as the other ones and then what we want to do is put on the hands so we'll put a little glue on the end here. Our little black pom-poms. And this is what we want to do next is put her little stinger on. Turn her around here. And we'll put her little stinger on. Right on the seam there. And let that set up. And that's how she looks. And when I, uh, I'm going to let that set up and I'm going to go ahead and get Buzz's uh, arms done and Stinger put on.
and I'll be right back. Now I've got the hands on both of them. And I, the last thing I need to do is put his flowers. He's holding flowers. And uh, we're going to put the flowers right here. I've got a bundle here made up with the, I just took the black pipe cleaner and wrapped it around and bundled three of them together. And I'm just going to glue this to the side under his arm there. Making sure to keep his beard out of it. His, his uh, mustache out of it. So we'll just put some glue on that. And put it right underneath there where he's holding them. I'm going to hold that and let it set up. And then, let me tell you what else I'm going to do. I'm going to attach this red flower right here. And then I'll be right back with you. We've got the two of them done. Buzz and Honey are done. And the next thing we're going to do is make Busy and Zing. So I need to reset my table for, for Busy and Zing. And we'll do that part of it. And so I'll be right back with you. Okay, to make Zing and Busy, this is what we'll need. Not, not a whole lot of stuff. We need some pipe cleaners, probably just one yellow, and I've got four black ones pulled out. And then we're gonna need the little name tags, Zing and Busy, looks like that. Zing is for buzzing, and Busy is for a busy bee. That little baby's a busy bee. And then we've got two little red bows that are gonna go in her ponytails. And we've got two small yellow pom-poms for Zing's antenna, and two small red, uh, black pom-poms for Busy's antennas, and then four small black pom-poms for their hands. And then I've got a pom-pom for Zing's nose, and a little bit smaller of a pom-pom for Busy's nose. And then the two pom-poms for their, their stingers. And then we're gonna be using the yellow tool and a uh, black pipe cleaner to make their wings. And two of the striped socks, some polyester fiber fill. And then for their yellow hair, we're gonna use a two and a half inch by three and a half inch piece for the beard. And I've already done it up just like I did buzzes. It's the same exact way, only you're gonna use a two and a half inch by three and a half inch size of yellow fur and just make the slit and glue up the sides and you'll be all ready to do that. And then for the ponytails, do the same as you did for honey, only do two Two, and a, two by three inch pieces and make the ponytails the same way I showed you how we did them for honey's hair. And then we're gonna put red bows on those. So that's all we're gonna need, the polyester fiber fill, the marbles, and uh, I'll be right back with you to get started. We're gonna start with making busy and is what we're gonna do is take our sock and we're gonna count out eight stripes up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that's where we're gonna cut. That'll be for her bottom, her body. And then for her hat, we're gonna cut two stripes down from the black. We're gonna use the black and two stripes down her hat and we won't be using this part so what you want to do is take we don't have any marbles in that baby we're going to put some polyester fiber fill in there
and then we'll want to fasten it off. And then we want to take the hat piece and turn it inside out and fasten it at the top. Bring all these together and then fasten it with a rubber band. We'll put a little polyester fiber fill on there. And that'll be the hat. And then we'll get the nose pom-pom over here. We we'll wanna glue on the nose. I'm gonna glue it out a little bit from the rubber band. that, find the ponytails and the bows, and we're going to glue those on, I'm gonna let that side set up and then I'm gonna put the other side on and I'll be right back well, with I've you. got the ponytails glued on and then I glued on the little red bows and I didn't even have to tack that down over at all I just glued it on in this area here and put the little bows on and then I want to put her hat on so we'll just put a little glue on the top of our pom-pom here And glue the hat on like that. Now I'm going to have to let that set up and then I'll glue it on the back and I'll be right back with you. So she's I've got her um, hat all glued on there. We put our little uh, pom-pom on there. She won't get wings because you can't see the wings at all once she's glued on and she'll glue on a lot better if she doesn't have the wings. And then we'll go ahead and put her antennas on. I did the antennas like that. You just want to make a V with your pipe cleaner. That's about three inch antennas and then you bend them after that. So. And then you just glue them right in here.
Then I've got these little special little antenna ends for her. Little glitter ones. She's still setting up. I do have a little stinger for her. Although I don't think you're gonna be able to see it. I'm putting a little stinger on, her, on the back. And it is really setting up right now. Let it sit there for a minute while I do the arms. Now the arms won't be as big. As the adult bees, obviously. So we won't even need a whole pipe cleaner. I just cut that at. four inches. So we have two four inch pieces. And we're going to go ahead and glue them right up into the hat behind the ponytails. Put glue all the way around. Now I'm going to glue a hand on right here. And I'll be right back with you. I'm going to glue the other arm on and I'll be right back with you. So I've got a little busy bee done. And I put her little name on the bottom here. And I didn't like how the antennas hit her nose. Wasn't the same as the antennas hit this one. And so I put a little bow on the top here, which turned out really cute. A little red felt bow on that area. And everything else is done. She doesn't have wings, but I gave her a stinger and she's gonna glue on really nicely this way. So she's finished. We'll put her down here, and we're gonna move on to Zing. And what we wanna do with Zing is cut off the sock right, right like that for his body, and then we're going to use this piece for his hat which will be going this way this will be how the hat's on him like that so we want to cut nine stripes up one two three four five six seven eight nine and cut that and we'll discard this piece and then turn it inside out. And then gather it together.
and then turn it the right side out and that will be Zing's hat. I'll put some polyester fiber fill in it. And he folds it, we fold it, folds up like that on there. And that's where the, his name will go, right across here. So we'll put the hat aside for the moment. And we'll take the bottom piece. And we will need some flat marbles in that. Fill that up with polyester fiber fill. too tall. So I'm getting about six and a half inches for his body. So then what we want to do is put on his nose. Film this a little bit. He's got a seam running along his back. right there and put on his nose. We can put on his beard that's that's all made up for him. Just like we did Buzz's beard. We'll put that on like that. And glue that in place. And then we'll make some wings. So we're going to make the wings just like we made before, only smaller. Make about five layers, maybe three inches. 
crossed. Because it is such a small span on the wings, you don't even have to cut the ends because we wrap, we uh, cut it in a different direction. So that'll be his upper wings, and then we'll do maybe two and a half inch span on the lower wings, and I'll attach them both and be right back with you. All right, we're ready. Got everything ready to put his hat on. So we take the hat and just fold it up about half, halfway on that black. And then we'll just glue it right on the top of his nose. Well, there we go. Let that set up and then I'll glue it in the back and I'll be right back with I've you. I've got his hat on. And I'm going to put his name tag and his pom-pom on there. Let this set up for just a minute. We'll get the name tag on there and then the antenna and the arms I showed you for the other three so I'll just go ahead and get those done and he'll be done and then we can go to our final step in this video which is doing the base the, making the arrangement of them so I'll be right back with okay, you so we're finished with Zing this is how he looks very cute what we're going to do now is we're going to rearrange the table and, and get ready to put all of them together and make an arrangement like this on the base. So we'll be doing that in just a minute. I'll be right back with okay, you. To finish the arrangement of the bee family, we need to take two of these shapes that you get at Dollar Tree. We use those for the base. And some coral paint, acrylic paint. And... We will paint two of the bases like this and use those together to make the base for our family. And then we need to have some flowers from the Dollar Tree. I have gypsophilia here and I have gypsophilia here and I have dahlia here for those. And then miscellaneous bottom flowers, I've got the dahlia and I'm not sure what the other ones are, but they're all, all the colors go together nicely. Goes really well with the base. So I'm picking those colors. A little bit of white accent flowers will be in this one. So this is what we're gonna use to make to finish it up. And I'll be right back to, to finish this project. Yeah, so the first thing you wanna do with your base is you wanna take your two shapes and glue them with the, the whole, holes uh, it right in the middle there because then the, we won't see them at all in the end and take it over about this far position it just like that like that and then we're going to take and glue it down
Now while that's setting up, I'm going to set to position Buzz in the middle. I want to put him right in the middle. I'm going to leave a little bit of room. We're going to put flowers around the back too. Put them right about there. Got him right in the middle. I'm gonna let him set up and I'll be right back. And now I want to put honey on next. So we'll just put her glue on here at the end. Set her right on there. And then Zing will be at the other end here. We don't want the flower over his name. Put him on like that. Like that, and then busy. Here she is. Busy goes right here. So we'll put some glue on the back of her. She'll go right in Buzz's arm right here on this side of him. And I'll hold that for a minute and I'll be right back okay, with you. All we're ready now to do is to put the flowers on. I've got them kind of laid out how they're going to go. And we're going to put the red flower first. Trim that a little bit. And then I'm going to do the purple one and the salmon one on the front flowers. And then I'm going to take this little flower apart and just take one of each little white flower and accent the front with them. And I'll be right back. So those are how the front accent flowers look. And we're going to take the dahlia, the salmon colored dahlia, placed off the coral base really well, this color. And... Uh, we're going to glue it right on the base, right here behind Zing and Buzz. Just gonna glue, we're going to glue it right on there. I can find my glue gun. Now what I'm going to do is uh, work my way down. I'm going to put the, the pink gypsophilia next and I'll slide that in a little bit next to Buzz. Slide that in a little bit, the gypsophilia. And then the red gypsophilia, 
will be last. And we'll try to slide that in next to honey. And that's how we're gonna glue those three. So I'll be right back okay, with So you. I'm down, I've got those three on, and I just down to these last few flowers, and I'll just put that one right there. Kind of there's a space there. So we'll put this flower there, this dahlia. Right there. And then I just put these purple ones on the end. You notice how these pink gypsophilia are behind Buzz's wings, so you can see his wings really well. But it didn't work so well to put the red gypsophilia behind Honey's wings, so I left those on the outside. But the pink gypsophilia go really well behind Buzz's wings, so you can see the whole back of the bee. We'll put this one more piece of purple on there. And that's how it looks in the back. And this is how it finished. So the question is, do you like the green letters or the multicolor letters the most? And we're all finished. So if you like this video, make sure to like. And if you want to see more videos like this, make sure to subscribe.